Gotcha! Did not! I zapped you first! You're frozen! Ah, uh, close! Ah, uh, it's into the plane! We're taking everything! And that's a Fufta ship! And the crane are loading her! We better tell Brave Star. Well, <laughs> you look busy. Ah, uh, just the way I like it, JB. Nice and quiet. Mm, it's too quiet, if you ask me. No activity, nothing to do. When are we gonna see some action? Think positive, 3030. 30. Use the time constructively. What do you think I'm doing? I'm putting a new turbo booster on Sarah Jane. A turbo booster? You planning to blow up a mountain or something? Those things are dangerous, 3030. Turbo boosters can blow up. Now, just rest easy, Judge. I've got this safety override. As long as that's on, there's no problems. No danger. I don't know. Aren't you spending too much time on Sarah Jane? <clears throat> too much time? Why, how can you say that? Sarah Jane deserves all the time I can give her. All the time, yes. But I'm not so sure it's a good idea to give her all that extra power. Hmm, there you go again, Marshal. Being a worry wart. Why, I... Gravestar! Gravestar! The crane shot down some fuftas just north of Scrap Canyon. Yeah, and they're loading the ship right now! JB, round up a posse. We'll meet you out there. Come on, guys. Bravestar, no. You're outnumbered. Don't fret none, JB. Bravestar will be safe as a babe with me and Sarah Jane by his side. You haven't tested that turbo booster yet. <laughs> I wouldn't dream of hurting those poor little crane. <laughs> if you have no valuables, maybe we can sell you. Yeehaw! Oh, look. They are using weapons. Hide under the ship. Easy, 3030. Oh, I ain't gonna hurt them. Just teach them some manners. Looks like they aren't impressed. Fine by me. <laughs> I'm turning on the turbo booster. Then don't fire it near the Fufta ship. Aim at that butte up ahead. If I know the cranks, they won't want to face anything as powerful as a turbo booster. What? They are too strong! Run! Run! <laughs> Are you folks okay? No! Stop! You must stop! We don't want any shooting! We know you Fuftas hate violence, but we're just trying to protect you. Uh, we permit no weapons to be used for our sakes. If you don't stop, we must surrender to the Kang. Surrender? <laughs> there must be something wrong with his fuel mixture. Maybe, but Fuftas would rather be slaves than see weapons used. We'll help him some other way. Just what are you planning on doing? Well, I thought we'd drop in on the Krang. We're hit! I don't mean to complain, Marshal, but we're heading for that ridge! Oh, no! 
<laughs> I done lost Sarah Jane. <laughs> Well, looks like the Krang have skedaddled from these parts. You need not have risked your lives for us. We do not believe in weapons. And we did not ask you to interfere with your shooting to save us. Come on, come on, let's go. I lost my Sarah Jane. <laughs> she might be dinged up. We gotta find her. We knew not you lost a friend. We will help. What does she look like? <laughs> She's only the finest handheld positronic cannon on the planet. Wow, a cannon. Can I help you look for it? No, we will not help you look for a weapon. Well, thanks for nothing. So your name's Gurmy, huh? Mine's Wild Child. Would you like to play? Sometimes Omish lets me skate in the cargo hold. Well, you can't skate on desert sand. Want to play Brave Star and Tex Hex with us? Sure. How do we play? Well, you just pretend you're Brave Star and you're going against Tex Hex and his outlaws. We do not use weapons, even make believe ones. We cannot play your game. Gurmy may never ever play at fighting or the other games you play. This is for new Texans, not foofdas. Sorry, Gurmy. Come on, guys. Let's go play in Scrap Canyon. <laughs> now I'll never get them to play with me. <laughs> Where are you looking for Sarah Jane? Downrange of the crash. That's where she most likely landed. Time's a wasting. Somebody's always telling me what to do. Gurmy, don't fight. Gurmy, don't shout. Boy, I never have any fun. This is the crash site, but there's no sign of Sarah Jane. <laughs> if some no-good scavenger took her... Gurmy may never ever play at fighting or the other games you play. This is for new Texans, not Fooftas. This is for new Texans, not Fooftas. No wonder we are different. Whoa, I bet if I show this to Wild Child and the others, they'll like playing with me. I better see if it works, though. Whoa, that's Sarah Jane's safety override. It must have fallen out. How could it fall out? I thought you fixed Sarah Jane. Well, I was in a hurry and... Wait, I hear something. I don't. Shh. Ears of the wolf! It's Sarah Jane's overload warning. Uh-oh, that means the turbo's on. And that means an explosion if we don't find her. <laughs> that way. Let's ride, partner. We'll track down the beep. making that noise. I hope whoever took her knows how to turn her off. Eyes of the Hawk! Oh. oh no. One of the Fufta children has Sarah Jane. Maybe I can turn off the beep. Look out! We'll be crushed! Head for that crevasse in the wall. <laughs> I'm hidden! Wow! Neato! Wait till I show the guys what... Well, we 
got away from the avalanche. Now all we gotta do is get out and take Sarah Jane from that boy. Looks like we're sealed in. Unless we decide to climb for it. And just how do we climb a smooth wall? <laughs> just goes to show you can't trust nobody. Who'd think a foofta kid would swipe my Sarah Jane? He's probably never seen anything like it before. Ooh, that's supposed to make me feel better? Nope, just understanding. <laughs> if anything happens to that boy, it'll be his own fault. You know, Big Pard, I don't think you'd feel that way if he gets hurt. All right, you made your point. Mm. Any idea where he went? I mean, not that I'm worried about him or anything. Nope. <clears throat> I want to find Sarah Jane before that turbo booster builds up too much power. Well, I'm worried too, Pard. We gotta find him before there's an accident, and I know who can help. Mm, welcome, my son. What brings you here today? A young Fufta has taken Sarah Jane. Mm. You should be more careful. <laughs> I know, I know. It's important we find him before the turbo booster overloads and explodes. Can you help us? No, but you can help yourself. Mm, think back, Brave Star. Remember the time when you were a young one. I got him! Easy there. I'm not gonna hurt you. I just wanna show you off to some, some people. Is it important to you that other boys be impressed? I say they don't want to play with me because I'm new here. But capturing a spitting scorpion will make them sit up and notice. Salmon! He spit on me with his poison! Of course he did. Scorpions can be dangerous. If you play with them, you can get hurt. This ointment will neutralize the poison. It is foolish to try to show off to others with power or danger, young Brave Star. You must show them what you are. Of course. He must be taking Sarah Jane to Fort Carrium to impress the other children. Thank you, Shaman. <clears throat> Fort Carrium? We gotta get back, Brave Star. Sarah Jane can shoot the town full of holes if that kid ain't careful. Or even worse, blow the whole place into orbit if she overloads. Mm, go. May the good spirit guide you. How much time before Sarah Jane explodes? If the kid shut her off, no problem. If he didn't, maybe we've got as little as 20 or 30 minutes before the turbo booster goes kablammo! Then we better ride and not talk. Excuse me, Judge. Sorry to bother you. No bother, Omish. Come in. What is it? What can I do for you? It's my son, Gurmi. He hasn't returned, and I'm afraid he may have gone to look for that terrible weapon. What terrible weapon? A big rifle. I believe it's called Sarah Jane. Your son has gone to look for Sarah Jane? That is what I fear. Oh, that's not good. Sarah Jane is very powerful and very safe in 3030's hands. But she could be extremely dangerous if your son finds her. My son has been taught never to play with weapons. Any weapons. Your son is a child, Omish. He barely knows what a weapon is. And I promise you, he has no idea of the kind of terrible power Sarah Jane can unleash. Please, help me find him. I'll do my best, Omish. Let's find the Marshal. You're out! We're leading two breamies to a preem. Huh? Hi, Gurmy. Gosh, I thought you weren't supposed to play our games. Well, I guess I can watch. Okay, but just stand back so you don't get hit. Hey, I found something real interesting out in one of the canyons. Wanna see it? I don't know. Maybe. What is it? Well, I'm not telling, but I know you'll like it. Come and take a look. <laughs> Marshal, we need your help. Omisha's son is missing. Missing? 
and Omish thinks he may be looking for Sarah Jane. I'm afraid he's found her. We saw a Fufta child with Sarah Jane. It must have been Gurmi. And he had the weapon? Sure did. Oh no. It's important we find him, quickly. JB, do you know where the children play? At the vacant lot near Handlebars. Do you think that's where he is? Let's hope so, and let's hope that we get there in time. See? Wow! Look at that! Yeah! Where'd you get this? It looks like 3030's gone. No, it's mine. I found it. What's that beeping sound? I, I don't know. Bet you don't know how to use it. But I do. First, you flip this, then you push that, and then you turn this. Wow! <gasps> what was that? I don't think any of us are going to like the answer. I, uh, I, I don't like the sound Sarah Jane's making. We better get out of here. No, please, come back. Wild Child, you look frightened. What was that explosion? Well, one of the Fufta kids found Sarah Jane and fired her. Oh, no, my son. Is the gun making a beeping sound? It sure is. I got out of there as fast as I could. It's bad news, JP. Keep everybody in town while I handle it. Speed of the Puma! Puma! Puma. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't leaving me behind this time. Hang on. Whoa. I better put this back where I found it. <laughs> he should be something. Oh, no. but it won't shut off. The turbo's ready to blow. Get rid of it. <laughs> All of Scrap Canyon will go up. Yeah! Oh, my. Phew. Double phew. I apologize for Gurmi. He knows better than to touch weapons. Uh, I, I'm sorry. I just wanted to make friends with the other kids. You don't do it that way, Gurmi. As a very wise man taught me, if they only like you for the things you have, they aren't worth having as friends. Maybe, Omish, Gurmi's new friends would like to play his games. Uh, perhaps you are right, Brave Star. I don't want you playing with weapons, Gurmi. But you can invite the Fort Garium children over to play Fufta games. Can I? Great! Thanks and thank you, Marshal and 3030. You're very welcome, Gurmi. Just play safely. Looks like the excitement is all over, Brave Star. I'll see. And for once, I don't think 3030 will mind. What a day! You know something? That little Gurmi could have been hurt. Hurt? He could have been killed. No, Sarah Jane wouldn't do a thing like that. Sarah Jane isn't a person. Sarah Jane's a machine. And machines don't know right from wrong. Yeah, but... No buts, Bard. A gun in the hands of a child is an invitation to an accident. It's like a bomb ready to explode. A real gun isn't a toy. Don't ever touch one. Promise? treasure in all of New Texas, and we're going to get it. Oh, 
This thing's overloaded, Fuzz. <laughs> You're only going home for a couple of days. And you've got enough stuff in here for a year. Fuzz have many friends in Prairie People's Kingdom. Me bring gifts for all of them. <laughs> well, next time try bringing lots of little gifts, okay? What you see, Marshal? Out yonder, that sand cloud. There's something going on. Eyes of the Hawk, the Hawk! The hawk. Trouble. Let's go. <laughs> Got to get away. Robot sand crabs attacking a prospector like that. Look out, Marshal! Marshal Bravestar! This old boy be hurt bad. Prairie People's Kingdom nearby. It's best we take him down. Toronto! Right, Fuzz. Rest easy, Pilgrim. We'll get you out of here. Now, what do you suppose this thing is? I don't believe it. That iron-brained horse of Brave Stars just grabbed the crystal! I'll get that treasure map crystal yet. You'll see. Just need more rest. Munchie, you watch man, please. Yes, me takes care of him, Chief Tussle. If when he wakes up, tell him I found this out in the sand. Must be his. Where's my... Where's my... My... My treasure map crystal? Where is it? Uh, this be what you look for? Oh, you took it. Don't give me that! It's mine! Who are you? And where am I? Oh, this is be Prairie People Kingdom, and me be Munchie. What be's your name? I don't really know what business it is of yours. But I am called Jeremiah, and it's time for me to be going about my business. No! Oh, oh, careful, friend. No! <sighs> You're not well enough yet. Why, you can't see! It's true. Me's not sees with my eyes. What do you mean, not see with your eyes? Me sees with my hands, my ears, my nose, but mostly me sees with my feelings. Like, even though me not see you with my eyes, me can see that you very nervous and 
unhappy. What we gotta do is figure out how to get the marshal to take take off and leave Jeremiah alone with the prairie people. Now you're talking. And I know just how to do it, too. You're going to rob today's Stratostage. Glad to see you're feeling better. Maybe you can answer a few questions. Listen to me, you. I already told your little friend here I am called Jeremiah, and I live in the desert, alone. <gasps> alone? Oh, it's very sad to live alone. Not for me, it isn't. I like it. There is nobody out there to bother me with foolish questions. Stretto stage is due through here any minute now. As soon as you attack, the driver will call for help. And when Brave Star leaves the Prairie People Kingdom to come to the rescue, I'll move in. <laughs> Then you have no idea why the robot sand crabs attacked you. No, 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 definitely not. Hmm, why do I have the feeling that there's something you're not telling us? I told you everything I know, Marshal. Now, what more do you want? Marshal Bravestar! Molly to Marshal Bravestar! Emergency! <laughs> I'm under attack! Hang on, Molly. We're on our way. Now, why would Thunderstick try to rob an outbound strata stage? He knows there's nothing on it. I don't know, Big Park, but we're sure gonna find out. Bravestar busy with the strato stage. I'll go and pay a little social call on Jeremiah. <laughs> Perhaps I can persuade him to part with that treasure map. <laughs> Says who? Howdy, brave, brave star. It's about time you showed up. Right back at you. Ow! Yo! Ow! Let's ride. Here, Jeremiah. This is for you. How do you find your way around so easily, Munchie? Not hard. Me live in Prairie Kingdom all my life. But don't you ever feel angry about not being able to see anything? Me have friends and family and people who loves me. There's nothing to be angry about. Friends are nothing. In this world, you've got to take care of yourself. And I was just about to do that. But now I am stuck here in this blasted Prairie People Kingdom. <gasps> Wait! Me have idea! <laughs> this bee's for you, friend Jeremiah! But, but, no puppets! We find Devil Mule and fix up a long time ago! Now it be yours! Yes, but why give it to me? Let Munchie explain. Wells, because you be so unhappy, and because you says you be stuck here. Now you go back to prospecting whenever you want. I 
I don't know what to say. No one has ever been this kind to me before. I... Attacks! Attacks! Robots and crabs! No! Must signal Brave Star! I'm fast! Hey, somebody help! And that somebody is you, Jeremiah. <laughs> Hand over that night crystal, or else. But it, it's all I have, it is. <laughs> Maybe you'd like to watch my robot sand crab work things out. With your little friend. Leave him alone! <laughs> All right, take the map crystal to... Just leave Munchie alone! Smart move, Jeremiah. Yes, sir, a very smart move. Let's get out of here. We've got what we came for. That ornery coyote. This'll slow, slow you down, Marshal. Time to shut him down. Strength of the bear. The bear. The bear. Hmm, reckon that explains it. Our noisy friend here was trying to keep us away from the prairie people. Put the cuffs on this varmint. We'll be back later to put him where he belongs, behind bars. <laughs> I had a treasure map, Marshal. That map crystal had the directions to the lost guardsman mine. I guess I've spent most of my life looking for a treasure like that. <laughs> the lost guardsman mine? Wow, that place is supposed to be filled with stacks of pure carrion. Yes, but that map crystal was my last chance. Guess I'll never find it now. Jeremiah gave up map crystal to save me from robot sand crabs. Munchie, thank you, good friend. No thanks required, Munchie. You've been a good friend to me, too. I don't guess I have ever had one before. It's not over yet, Jeremiah. We'll do the best we can to track Sandstorm down and get your map crystal back. <laughs> the marker light shows where the treasure is. <laughs> I must be practically on top of the mine right now. Aha! There it is! At long last! <laughs> the lost guardsman might... Not so fast, Sandstorm. Huh? I think you have something that belongs to somebody else. That's called stealing. You've got it wrong, Brave Star. What I have is something for you. It's called a cyclone. <laughs> <laughs> now to deal with the marshal's friends. <laughs> he sure knows how to blow up a storm. Looks like a way out, but how am I gonna get up there? 
Hmm. It's worth a try. Strength of the bear! The bear! The bear. Good, but I better hurry. Gotta get out of here before Sandstorm can get at that treasure. <laughs> now there's nothing that can keep me from that treasure. All set for me to take a ride. Well, here it goes. Time this just right. <laughs> the treasure is mine. No! You look right at home in all that sand, my friend. Think I'll leave you there until I can get 30 30 to slap the cuffs on you. Is everything you hoped for, Jeremiah? Oh, much more, little friend. Much, much more. And it's all yours, free and clear. There are no other claims on this mine. <laughs> I guess that makes you one of the richest men in New Texas. I guess so. <laughs> Funny. I used to think that being rich was all I ever wanted. But since I met Manchi and the Prairie people, I'm not so sure. Having friends is pretty important, too. I think okay, you know what I... Oh, oh, Jeremiah, Jeremiah, Tessel says okay, you's come live with us. You's want to. You mean live in the Prairie People Kingdom? But why? Because, because we need each other. You helps me see things I can't see with my eyes. And I help you feel things with your heart. Well, I thank you, and I'll do it. But on one condition. What is that? That this treasure be taken to your kingdom and kept there forever, as my gift to you and the other prairie people who taught me what friendship is all about. Why, he's smiling and happy. I don't get it. <laughs> Jeremiah just gave away the treasure he spent years searching for, and, and, and look at him. That's because he found something worth more than all the carrium on New Texas. A home and a family. And that's the greatest treasure there is. Anywhere. In today's story, Jeremiah discovered that there was a treasure far more valuable than carrium. It's called friendship, and it's more valuable than anything. Jeremiah found out just how valuable friendship can be when the prairie people nursed him back to health. Just remember that friendship is a two-way proposition. I mean, it works both ways. To have a good friend, you must be a good friend. So long from your friend, Brave Star. Your Marshal, it bring all the bands for big galactic music contest this afternoon. <laughs> Meek and Howdy White. Music. Hmm. <laughs> Only music I want to hear is the sweet singing of my gal Sarah Jane. Well, I guess that means you're not coming to hear me sing 3030. Oh, uh, uh, gosh, Judge, I, I, I wasn't talking about you. Hmm, of course I'll be there for your song. Me too, Judge JB. Me clap hands only for you at contest. Well, at least that gives me two votes. But if I'm going to get any more, I think I'd better do some last minute practicing. See you later. Hex, hex.
Oh, you are useless. All the powers I gave you and still failure after failure. Uh, I'm doing my best, but, but what? Excuses, excuses. I want action. And as usual, I'm going to have to tell you what to do. What's this? I call it the Black Widow. But what am I supposed to do with it? Fool, give it to someone who wants to win. When the Black Widow sings her song, audiences will riot and buildings will collapse. <laughs> Total confusion will reign. <laughs> All right, and I can take over. <laughs> think you can get it right this time. Yeah, well, well, sure I can, Stampede. This is just what I need. The Black Widow and me will make you proud. You'd better I don't want to hear any more excuses. Well, maybe if he had Bravestar on his case, he'd make a few excuses too. I can hardly wait. Yeah, well, we gotta win first, or else we haven't got any chance. What do you mean? We're not doing too bad. Not too bad? <laughs> not if all you care about is being small time, but Johnny Blue Star wants to be a star. It's that, or it's nothing. I'd forgotten how big this place really is. Mm, looks as though half the music freaks in the galaxy are already here waiting. <laughs> and we got no backup hail. I know. I tried to get Galaxy Control to give us a temporary marshal, but no luck. Seems there's a robot rebellion on the Allenby station. They thought that might be a bit more of a problem. Mm, guess they haven't heard of Tex Hex. <laughs> Okay, listen up. Today's the day we've been waiting for. The day we finally take over. <laughs> Today, New Texas. Tomorrow, the galaxy. <laughs> By the time I'm finished, I might even give the planet a new name. Ah, what do you mean? <laughs> well, boys, how do you like the sound of Tex Hex World? I don't get it, Tex. How are you gonna take over the planet? With the help of my beautiful friend here. We're gonna take her out to the music contest. <laughs> but I hate music, Tex. <laughs> hate it? Love it? Who cares? I want you to go out there and start some trouble. Even if you have to use the old Venomizer. And you, Skulls, you're gonna blow smoke in the face of anybody who disagrees with you, you hear me? Uh, anybody? <laughs> Even Viper? Listen, Cigar Breath, you blow smoke in my face, and I'll stuff you inside that stogie, get it? Boss, me no understand! <laughs> me like to start trouble, but <coughs> what for? Well, it's very simple. To keep Bravestar busy while I find a rocker who wants to use the Black Widow to become a star. <laughs> because when he plays her, this little lady is gonna make some sounds that'll tear the place apart. And that's when I take over. Now, let's get over to that stadium. The contest is about to begin. <laughs> to the first intergalactic music contest. Please give a big welcome to our first contestants, Cheyenne Luce and the Skyriders! Time for you two to do your thing. Get these music creeps arguing with each other and keep Brave Star busy. Right? While I find me a musician who wants to win this contest my way. With a little help from my friend, the Black Widow. <laughs> oh, 
Well, so far, so good. In fact, things are almost too quiet. bunch of Merovian star monkeys could sing better than these dogs. What? You not <coughs> appreciate good music? <coughs> I'll get you for that. Get your filthy hands off me. It worked. We get them fighting with each other. <laughs> now we start more trouble. <coughs> I knew it was getting too peaceful. Let's go, Pard. Keep a lookout from up here, Fuzz. I stink. What about you, lizard breath? Shy and loose stinks, and so do you. Okay, you're asking for it. Hey. Better keep that stinger to yourself, Pilgrim. Man, you better clean up your language, son. Hey, watch it, you metal moron! That's my best guitar synth! Oh, no! It's busted! And busted good! Now what am I gonna do? Well, it looks like we found our man, my pet. Let's go tell him how he can win this contest! <laughs> It was his fault, Marshall. No, he was the one who started it. He and his little furry friend. What furry little friend? The one who kept bugging me about how good Cheyenne Luce was. The one with the cigar and all that filthy smoke. Where'd he go? We'll find him. But I want you to remember one thing, boys. There's plenty of room in the galaxy for all kinds of music. No reason for you to have to agree on what's best. Now just cool down and enjoy yourselves. Mm -hmm. right, I'll try. So, whoever started this little tussle was furry, small, and smoking a cigar, huh? Sound familiar? Mm, you bet. It has to be Scuzz. But when did he get so interested in music? Good question, and I have a feeling Tex Hex may have the answer. Well, there goes our chances for winning the contest! But you can use your old guitar synth. That old dog can't win with that. Johnny, it's not the instrument that makes the music, it's you! Not always true, the lady. Now, I got an instrument here, and I call it the Black Widow. That'll make you sound like the best guitar synth player in the universe. Oh, sure. And pigs can fly, too. Hmm, does have a nice balance. Wonder how it sounds. Give it a try. Wow, this baby is hot! Ladies and gentlemen, here's our next contest entry. All ready to put their music in orbit. That fabulous new group, Moon Madness. If Tex sent Scuzz to cause trouble, he might have sent some of those other varmints of his too. Eyes of the Hawk. <laughs> Nothing unusual yet. But now I've got something. 
Come on, big part. We got a little snake trapping to do. Man, what an instrument. I've never played anything like this in my life. How much do you want for it? Hey, where'd he go? Johnny, there's something wrong with this. I think you should get rid of that thing before it causes some terrible trouble. Listen, Mella, if the Black Widow can make me win this contest, I'll be happy to put up with a little trouble. This band is horrible. I hope they don't win. Come on, let's get out of here. Be quiet! How can I hear this wonderful music with you talking? Wonderful music? Oh, you've got to be kidding. That's nothing more than outer space racket. Everybody wants to be a critic. Now keep your nasty tongue to yourself, Vipra. Sounds as though you'd like a trip to Dreamland, horse face. Hey! Don't think there's any snake charming music scheduled for today, Vipra. So maybe you better head back to the hexagon. Dex is sending those varmints of his to start trouble in the audience. I bet that means he's trying to keep us out here and not backstage. Let's go find out why. Johnny, I don't like this. How can you say that? This baby's fantastic. Listen. Did you see that? Those flowers. They died when you played the Black Widow. Weird, but it must be some kind of accident. I don't think so, Johnny. There's something, something frightening about that instrument. It scares me. Did you come to wish me luck? Well, uh, sure. But also to ask if you've seen anything unusual back here. Uh, not a thing. Our next contestant is New Texas's very own singing judge. Let's give her a big hand, J.B. McBride! Oh, they're calling me. Well, here goes nothing. There's nothing like a lover's justice to make it seem so right. Something about a lover's justice that makes it wrong to fight. Out of the blue, you walked into my life. Out of the blue, it can't happen twice. Oh, hmm. Listen, Marshall, I hate to interrupt you, but... Oh, right. Uh, let's look around. Check that area over there. I'll, I'll look over here. <laughs> no way you can stop me this time, Brave Star. We're on next. Let's go. Johnny, are you sure you won't just leave that Black Widow here and play your old guitar synth? No way. If I'm ever going to be a star, this is my best shot. Ladies and gentlemen, here's our last contestant from Alpha Centauri, Johnny Blue Star! How you doing out there? You ready to rock? All right, here we go! One, two, one, two, three, four! Music in your heart, heart and soul. Let anything. All right, but keep your eyes open. If Tex is gonna pull anything. It's gonna be now or never. Johnny, don't do it, please. Nothing to you, you alien creep. Oh no! I don't want to become a star by making people bash each other. Good, good. 
Good, it's working. There he is, that coyote. Come on. And I don't want to become a star by hurting people. Blast, I can't count on nobody. Give me that. Here you go, Johnny. Oh, I'll do it myself. Grab him. Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> Nothing can stop me now. Oh, yes, it can. Johnny, quick, get the other musicians. You've got to use your music to stop the Black Widow from doing its dirty work. <laughs> Spirit, give you rock, rock and roll. Stop it. Neither of you won the contest, but you can both be proud of your performances. Yeah, you know, I really enjoyed those few moments in the spotlight, but I think I'll be happy to be just an ordinary person. I'm afraid I still want to be a star, but this time I'll try it on my own, without any help from people like Tex Hex. Please. With fans like Fuzz around, you'll be a star before you know it, Johnny. story, Johnny found out that temptation can be a very dangerous thing. He wanted to be a rock star so badly that he'd do anything to make it happen. Have you ever been tempted to do something you knew was wrong, like stealing from a store or accepting a ride from a stranger? Don't do it. Don't give in to the temptation of doing something wrong, no matter what anybody offers to give you. In other news, it has been reported that an unidentified millionaire has leased the Eiffel Tower from the French government for an undisclosed fortune in Carrium. And finally, this update on Sherlock Holmes. As was reported yesterday, the legendary 19th century detective Sherlock Holmes fell through a time warp and ended up here in the 23rd century, where he met up with the alien Dr. Whitson and also his distant relative, Mycroft Holmes. Holmes also received his first client of the 23rd century, Marshall Bravestar, who was seeking a runaway alien boy named Fleeta. Clues led them to an abandoned warehouse in another part of old New London. However, they have not been heard from since. Oh, where are we? I would say we are in an underground dungeon. And we appear to be prisoners. I'll say, I... Uh, uh, something wrong? Shh! What is it, Marshal? It's Fleeter! <gasps> oh, my 
special brave star. What a wonderful friend you are. I've been very worried about you, Fleeter. Why did you run away and hide on the carrion freighter? My mommy and daddy, they're so far away. They can't hear me singing, so I ran away. I needed to find them. I'm scared every day. Oh, poor little guy. Give him here. What a strange voice the lad has. Almost hypnotic. It makes me see pictures. Very strange indeed. Hmm. So your parents are on Earth. No, space is their home. They are nowhere near. Their song spans the cosmos, but mine they can't hear. The boy sings in rhymes and riddles. He has his own language. With care, we may decipher it. But for now, we should make our exit from this dungeon. Wait. Who's that? Riff Randalls, member of an illegal hypno-rock group called Discord. We've suspected them of crimes before. Hmm, interesting. Strength of the bear! bear, bear. Incredible! It's the hijacked carrion freighter. Hmm, I'm starting to have what I believe is a workable theory. It's fantastic, but a few simple observations should confirm it. Come on. I suspected. What is it, Uncle? Elementary, my dear Mycroft. Observe this newspaper. It appears to be quite old, yet it is dated the day before yesterday, and its headline speaks of the Carrium Freighter hijacking. It must have been blown through the time warp to the 19th century. And notice this branch, broken when the lid of this strange device was opened. Obviously, this tree grew after this device was closed. And this tree is a good 300 years old. Egg What are you getting at? Just this, Whitson. Only one man could have known that I had been transported into the future. Only one man could have followed me. And only one man could have known about the Carrium Freighter's power failure before it happened, allowing him to hijack it. Egg Who is it? What does this mean? It means, Whitson, the most evil, brilliant, dangerous criminal of the 19th century is still alive today. It can only be... Professor James Moriarty. <laughs> Very good, Holmes. I have always maintained that your intelligence was almost equal to mine. You are mostly correct in your pitiful guesses. I did see you fall into the time warp, and I did discover that you had come to the 23rd century by means of a newspaper that was blown to me. Determined that you should not escape my vengeance, I did construct a suspended animation chamber in my underground hideout. It kept me alive for 350 years. And I did capture a richly loaded carrium freighter while it was helpless during a power failure. <laughs> I love this century! It has so many opportunities for a person of my talents, shall we say. Criminal perversions describes it better. Whatever. In any case, I discovered aboard that freighter an unexpected treasure far more valuable than carrium. Fleeter? Yes. Though I came to the 23rd century seeking vengeance on you, I now have a much bigger goal in mind. Nothing less than world conquest, Holmes. And without a shot being fired. And this strange young lad with a voice that sings pictures will help me accomplish it. Bring these two along. And as for you, Holmes, I'll be back later. 
as king of the world to preside over your doom. Take them. And don't be gentle. <laughs> I, 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 I say, Holmes, it looks a bit sticky. What? Most assuredly, my dear Whitson. I'm afraid we're in a bit of a fix. Shall we get them, Whitson? Decidedly, Holmes. You've had it, no, Holmes. I fear you gentlemen are in for a bit of a shock. Jolly good, Whitson. And now for Moriarty. I'll just take this bit of Moriarty's cape along. I have an idea it might be needed. Moriarty must have come this way. But how the deuce would we follow him now? He could have gone anywhere. Precisely, Whitson. But we are not lost yet. I'll just summon some help. With money? Precisely. Observe. Money. Money, money, money. <laughs> oh, you're playing my song, Gab. <laughs> Looking for me? Yeah, and me? I am. I understand your dog there has a fine sense of smell. Right you are, Gov. Old Baskerville could track a bug across the new London Metroplex, he could. Well then, can you follow this scent, Baskerville? <laughs> yes, I know the man is a stinker, but please follow him anyway. It's a matter of utmost urgency. <laughs> Baskerville's got a scent! What is this place? It's the old New London to Paris turbo train. They must have taken it. Then we must follow them. Uh, how the deuce do we do that, Holmes? The next turbo train doesn't come for another hour. There's the answer, Whitson. That dirigible. Come on. The game's afoot, and there's not a moment to lose. Amazing! I never dreamt I'd ever be in a flying machine. We'll be over Paris in a few minutes, gents. Any place in particular you want to go? It's a big city. I've been pondering that. Whitson, answer me some questions, if you will. If I can. What is this hypno-rock that Mycroft mentioned? Strange music, illegally changed electronically to make it hypnotic. It can make people do strange things. Then suppose, Whitson that this same hypno-rock technique were used on Fleeter's already hypnotic singing. Eget Holmes! Moriarty could control people's minds! Precisely. And if this hypnotic song were broadcast all over the Earth... Moriarty would control the world! Exactly as he boasted. Ow! Oh, horrible! Now, now, just a minute, Mr. Holmes. To broadcast all over the Earth, this Moriarty would need a huge antenna. How could he possibly hide such a thing in Paris? Ah, but that's the diabolical genius of the man. He hid it in the most cunning place, right in plain sight. Uh, 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 dash it, Holmes. You, you, you speak in riddles. Not at all, Woodson. You will soon discover my meaning. To the Eiffel Tower, Hack, and pray that we are not too late. <laughs> the Eiffel Tower! It cost a fortune in stolen carrium to hire, but it was worth it. For this, this giant monument shall be the secret antenna that will broadcast my song of conquest! I cannot believe you would do such a thing. 
Your plan is too evil. I will not sing. Oh, you'll sing all right, boy. As long as I have your friends in my power, you'll do exactly as I say. There's what I want you to sing. Now get ready. It's showtime, folks! Uh, you, you were right, Holmes. Moriarty is going to use the Eiffel Tower to broadcast all over the world. And beyond. What? Nothing. But with any luck, we'll solve two cases tonight instead of one. Fly in close, Hack, and keep your ears plugged. Greetings, people of the Earth! I interrupt your program to bring you this special announcement. I, Professor James Moriarty, am taking over the world. Hit it, boys. Sing, boy. Sing my song. Or else. What? Sherlock Holmes? The game's up, Moriarty. You've lost. Not yet, Holmes. I have your friends here. Hardly. You seem to have lost some hostages, Professor. What? Are you insane? Of course not. Have you got them, Whitson? Uh, I certainly do, Holmes. Get him! This should keep you quiet for a while. <laughs> nice flying, love. I'll handle the guns. I think I can stun Moriarty from here. No. I think your uncle has a plan. Surrender, Moriarty. I haven't lost, Holmes. You have. Out there is still all mine. Moriarty. They are all still my subjects. All still my slaves. Not for long. Sing, Fleda. Sing your song. The one you want your parents to hear. Sing the song that's in your heart. Is the love in your heart? Let it set your soul free. It's the right place to start. Follow just me. Feel the love in your heart. Let it set your soul free. It's the right place to start. To be what you'll be. Let no! My slaves are being freed. I must shut off the power. No! There. That should do. What? What? It didn't work! Impossible! Holmes is powering the transmitter! It's over, Sherlock Holmes. You have interfered with my plans for the last time. I may have lost this battle, but you shall lose our war. After 356 years, Sherlock Holmes, it is time to meet your doom. What? That light? What? What? What can it be? No!
can it be? It must be Fleeter's parents. They heard the song. Mother, father, you came for me. You heard my song. You came for me. Uh, uh, um, amazing. Fleeter must be like your earth caterpillar, which transforms into a beautiful butterfly. Our lost son has been found. Our thanks to you, Sherlock Holmes. May you continue to restore such happiness to others. But mother, father, I would never want to leave my friends forever. You can visit any time, Fleeter, as long as we know that you are safe. Sherlock. We were worried about you. Not me. You were great, Mr. Holmes. Great adventure. Couldn't be better. Especially since Fleeter has been restored to his parents. Yep, which means my case is over. But what happened to Moriarty? Oh, don't worry about him. He's still hanging around. I will have my revenge, Holmes. I will have my revenge. Oh, this is humiliating. <laughs> I'll have the Yard come pick him up. What are your plans, Marshal? Well, now that Fleeter's parents are found, I reckon I'll head back to New Texas. Sure has been exciting, though. Good to have met you, Mr. Holmes. Well, I'm sure we'll meet again, Marshal. After 356 years, I have a feeling that my greatest adventures are still to come. This 23rd century is fascinating. I anticipate fantastic new crimes to solve. And I'd be proud if you boys would share them with me. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. But no more stealing. Oh, okay. Well, I, I guess you want this then. My wallet. My medallion. My Ray Derringer. Uh, uh, my, dear me, my stethoscan. I can tell that this new century is going to be very interesting. Blast you, Holmes. I'll get you yet. I'll be out on bail before you can... What happened to my wallet? 